A barbecue happy place is where you go to grill, chill, and get away from it all. Today, we're staying in Canada, heading over to Quebec to see our barbecue friend, Michelle, and his barbecue happy place. All right, Michelle, give us the good stuff. Let's see what he's got. I'm Michel Poirier, and this is my barbecue happy place located in Bromont, Quebec, Canada. Here is our outdoor kitchen. Uh, don't forget, it's 14 by 14, so there's plenty of spaces. Uh, we have a uh, wine cellar, uh, drawers, fridge, the amazing Napoleon Pro 825, the Trigger Timberline 850 that I added uh, this year, plus uh, the Napoleon Pro uh, Charcoal. The only thing missing, really, is uh, the Trigger Ranger that we keep in our trailer uh, just for when we go uh, <coughs> uh, uh, snowboarding in uh, Florida this year. But besides that, everything's there. First things first, what a grill zone. He's got like one of every grill ever made back there. And they all look crystal clean. Like, Michelle, are you even cooking on these things? Our grill zones don't look like that. No. <laughs> Once you bring electricity out to your barbecue happy place, specifically appliances, I think that's taking it to the next level because it just makes it more easy and more efficient of a space. If you don't have to go back inside to head to the fridge, to head to the wine cellar, everything's at your fingertips, that makes it more special. One of the main things that I noticed with this barbecue happy place is he has a lot of storage. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of opportunities to put different things out there, to have them at the ready. If you looked underneath his counter, he had shelving under there. If you look in the background behind his grill, he's even got totes that he can put like charcoal and tools and things like that in. I'm loving this so far. We built this amazing outdoor kitchen because last year we sold our house. So we're summer seasonal uh, here in Bromo. Uh, <clears throat> for the winter, uh, we're in, in the south, like Florida, maybe Texas eventually. but. Basically, we build this to be able to receive people, to gather around the kitchen, uh, give out uh, barbecue courses. Uh, is it tough to, uh, to to grill and barbecue and so on in bad weather? Uh, yes, I know, uh, because we have a nice roof on there over us. It's quite so easy. The wind is something else, but basically. It's working. I love that he said he teaches barbecue classes in this space too. Explains why he has everything set up perfectly the way that it is. Why have we not been invited to a class, Michelle? We teach a class to him, we invite him to our space, it's, we go to his space. It's gonna take one for one, two for two, <laughs> give it to us, we'll come over to see you. But I'm wondering, and I bet you are wondering, who built this beautiful space? Michelle grills, but does he have the skills to design and build such a beautiful space? Oh, let's see what he's got. We build this ourselves. Uh, me and my wife, we saw some ideas all over the internet and basically we went from scratch, uh, piece by piece. It started by a 10 by 10 uh, and we went a little bit overboard by 14 by 14. But at least we have space now. I love that Michelle said they started with a 10 by 10 design, but once you get building, and especially when you're doing it yourself, stretching it to 14 by 14, I think that was a good call because that looks spacious. It looks like he's got a lot of room around there. And especially when you're hosting classes, go a little bit bigger, I'd say. Good call, Michelle. One thing I did notice in this video Look at, he's got Wi-Fi up there. That is one thing that we really recommend because for us, our grill studio is located in an area that is rural. It's very difficult to have good internet up there and it definitely makes things a lot harder. So for him, especially if he's teaching barbecue classes, you're gonna know that people are gonna be wanting to take pictures and upload them to social media. Having Wi-Fi is always bonus. Never mind the fact that grills use Wi-Fi. He has the Traeger, it comes with an app we can't utilize that when we're at the grill studio. So if you can add Wi-Fi or internet to your barbecue happy place, I think that is such a plus. Me too. Our favorite feature about this place is the countertop. That we have plenty of them. We can receive people. We have space to work around. We have space to put our stuff in. We have a wine cellar, fridge. Uh, we have everything we needed. He wants to receive people to his space. So I'm thinking that Michelle's meaning 
People are gonna be sitting around the counter watching what he's doing, engaging in the classes. I think that's super cool. Looking at his space, that is not my favorite feature. What is it? My favorite feature of this space in particular is the fact that he's got a custom neon sign. Yes! Oh my god. Michel goodness. du Barbecue. Uh, okay. That was my French. <laughs> I love that feature. When you're building a barbecue happy place, customization is key. You want people to walk in there and not have any doubts as to whose space it is. Michelle has said, this place has got everything. But I want to know, is there a particular feature that Michelle would change? Because even though he designed this, maybe he's thinking, you know what? I'd rather improve something here. Okay, let's see what he says. Which feature we would change if it would be possible? Uh, without going really overboard, I would say maybe a few feet more. Mm, tough to say. Uh, that's for sure what we need is to finish for me, to finish next year. Uh, everything that is under uh, like uh, plumbing, uh, shelving, and etc. Besides that, it's almost perfect. He didn't seem to want to choose. He seemed pretty happy with it he as it is. He says it's pretty perfect the way that it is. I do like that he said plumbing. Plumbing is like eight levels far because that means that you can wash your hands in that space. That means that you can get water out to boil corn maybe. Plumbing takes a barbecue happy place totally to like the 20th level. Nothing beats having some good old soap and water to wash your hands in. Agreed. Why is our barbecue happy place is our favorite place? Uh, maybe it's because we have everything, uh, because we can receive around it, uh, we have friends over. It, it's the place to be. Uh, it's convenience, it's everything. So. What, I, what can I ask more? Aww, Michelle is so sweet. Michelle said that he loves receiving people. Yes, barbecue happy places are where we grill, or it's where we cook, but primarily it's about welcoming people to the space and showing them what we can do in that space. The biggest question on our minds, as, sh as I'm sure is on your mind, is why does he barbecue? Oh, the biggest question. Why do I like to barbecue? Gee, uh, I like to barbecue because barbecuing is sharing with friends our passion, our food, our thinking, our ideas, uh, tricks, tips, anything. And just basic conversation around good food made with good things. Simple. I love that. It's about the people. It's about sharing an experience of eating with people. It's so much more than just making food outside. Do I have word of advice to someone looking to build a barbecue happy place? Think as your living space. The place that you'll spend a whole bunch of time with yourself, with your family, with your friends. So. Think about the space you need and the accessory that you have and what you will be adding in the future. So you might have to go, you know, a little bit bigger. And that's really great advice. Have your base plan for what you want, but leave room for alterations in the future if you want to change your space. We always say barbecue happy places don't have to cost a lot of money. You can DIY your way to a pretty spectacular barbecue happy place. How much we spend on this thing? E.G. Uh, just for the uh, wood part. I would say in the area of uh, including the old patio, which is about what uh, 50 by 30 something feet, I would say roughly 6k uh, last year. Uh, if you put it this year or next year, it will be eight, nine, maybe. Uh, depending on the price of the wood. Building materials ain't cheap. You can start with a baseline plan. And then you can continue the phases as your wallet grows and as your budget grows and as your needs grow. We're really wondering what is his favorite thing to make on the grill? Yeah. What was my favorite thing that I grill or smoke or barbecue? Uh, I would say brisket. I would say chicken wings. Uh, I would say any of, you know, lobster tail, uh, it could be everything that I will grill, smoke, uh, barbecue, I like it. So it's, it, there's no way to say which one I prefer or anything like that, but that's for sure. A good piece of meat or red meat, it's tough to beat. He can't pick! <laughs> I know, he mentioned like 80 things there. We said pick one, he was like, 
chicken, <laughs> brisket, anything that comes to mind. What Michelle's trying to say is anything that he makes on the grill, he's gonna love. And I agree with that. Anything made on a grill is 10 times better than when it's made on the stove. I think he was tooting his own horn a little bit there too. He was like, basically whatever I make back here, it's gonna be good. <laughs> You know, we ask all the participants on Barbecue Happy Place if they'll give us, you know, a little shimmy shimmy shank in their yeah. Barbecue Happy Place. Let's see if Michelle gave in to our crazy request. You think he's gonna do it? I think Michelle looks like a pretty fun dude. I bet's on him doing it. If you've had fun so far on this Barbecue Happy Place tour, smash that like button now and let's see if Michelle did the dance. All right. Eddie, Kiki. This one is for you and for my wife on the other side in the gazebo. You want me to dance? I will dance, but it's my unique move that I will do for the three of you. Oh! <laughs> I love it! Yeah, she's laughing her ass off just because you're asking for it. Thank you. But it's a unique move, it's a... Yeah, I don't know if that really counts as dancing. It was more just like slow walking. <laughs> Barbecue Happy Place, Michelle. If you want to be the next person featured on Barbecue Happy Place, send us a message because we want to see where you live and we want to check out your Barbecue Happy Place. Oh, heck yes, we do. Check out our friend Matt in NYC. He showed us an indoor and outdoor Barbecue Happy Place and you'll never believe how he fits a certain something into his Barbecue Happy Place. Love this one. Check that one out.